everybody. Welcome back to the Brad Still Channel. Still Reactions. Yatta. Is where it's happening. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon today for another reaction video. And today we are back checking out more of uh, Ariana Grande on SNL. This is the opening monologue to the show. And that's what I'm checking out today. Checked out a couple of her um, skits from SNL yesterday. And now I'm checking out her opening monologue today. Before I get to this, I've got some covers and original music of my own. that will. Uh, one of those will be at the end of this video. So if you stick around after the reaction video, it'll go, go to that. If I could talk. And also the red subscribe button is below as well. Here we go. Ariana Grande SNL opening. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Ariana Grande. When does Wicked come out with her? That should be soon, right? The Thanksgiving problem. I'm so happy to be back hosting SNL. This year has been truly amazing. I got to play Galinda in the Wicked movie. It's, already, it's not already out, Which is it? It's awesome, because, you know, I'm such a theater kid, and it's every theater kid's dream to either play Galinda or Elphaba. Well, it's every theater kid's dream to lose their virginity, but their second dream <laughs> is, of course, to be in Wicked. But it's so amazing to be here. The last time I hosted was in 2016. <laughs> It was such a subtle, subtle dig at theater kids. And she just moved on. 16, and we were right on the verge of electing our first female president, so I guess second time's the charm. <laughs> but, but before I start, I just want to make one thing clear tonight. I am just hosting. I'm, no, I, I'm not going to make this about me. I'm just gonna have fun, take it easy, and yeah, just gonna keep it low key. But what's this? <laughs> I really appreciate that here lately she's really been showing off her sense of humor. Like, she's got a natural comedic timing about her. It's very subtle, very authentic. I'm gonna keep it low key tonight. <laughs> Promise I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna sing my favorite notes, not C, D, B, A, or G. Well, that wasn't the notes she sang, so. I'm not gonna do my impressions. No Britney Spears today. If you ask me again, I'll say the same thing. Uh, no, baby, baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna do Miley Cyrus, cause baby, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's the comedic timing I'm talking about. That was <laughs> so aggressive, that note gonna do Gwen Stefani cuz don't think the promise I'm not singing any new impressions I won't sing because it hurts kind of had a little bit of Lady Gaga to it as well that kind of sounded like Lady Gaga I'm not gonna wink at my camera I promise I won't do a lift thank you so much and I'm not <laughs> gonna talk about wicked cuz tonight I don't give up didn't anybody tell you? Tell me what? We cut the Wicked Sketch. Oh, um, that's okay. I didn't want to do it anyway. <laughs> Great, and this isn't a wand, it's a flask. So oh. I'm gonna keep the piano far away from me, because the last thing I'm going to do is modulate the key. <laughs> I'm not going to do a duet tonight, so please don't bring out Stevie Nicks. Worth a shot. And the other last thing I'm going to do is bring out some hot dancers insanely high kicks come on ladies oh my god you're so tall I'm actually really oh i want to hear that riff again ladies oh my god you're so tall 
Um, did so? Did she do the duet with Stevie Nicks? Because I mean, come on, that's probably incredible, right? Shy, no more crazy runs, no more tricks, no vocal flips. Can't you see that? She's good, man. She is such a good singer, an effortlessly good singer. That like not a lot of singers could just goof off like this and just casually sing this well. Oh, way, this much is How are they not picking her? Up That's what I call an opening monologue right there. That is what I call an opening monologue. That was fantastic. Funny, yes, but also showed off just what a, no pun intended, wickedly good singer she is. And like I said, I, I am just really impressed with her comedic timing. And like her facial expressions are just very good for, for like comedy. And so uh, I thought that was great. And... I mean, she had, she was clearly foreshadowing that she was going to do a duet with Stevie Nicks, right? Because she said, I'm not going to do a duet with Stevie Nicks. And everything else she said she was not going to do, that was the joke. Because everything she said she wasn't going to do happened. Uh, I loved the impressions. Would have loved to have heard her impression of Celine in there. But it was, that was great. Very, very positive, good opening. Building a fort with all kinds of supplies that I found in my garage. Filming my very own TV show on a camera I bought at Walmart. Spending hours on a PlayStation trying to beat Crash Bandicoot Warped. Some of the best memories I've ever made were on days when I was bored. Jotting down words on a Taylor Swift notebook as I wrote my very first song. Throwing a football at 10 p.m. with some friends in a church parking lot. Singing Nickelback karaoke and laughing until we were sore some of the best memories i've ever made were on days when i was bored we could use a little boredom we could use a little boredom today the family going out for dinner on a random Tuesday night sitting in the yard for hours in October cause it's feeling so good outside crying my eyes out on April 13th the last time that Kobe Bryant scored some of the best memories I've ever made Were on days when I was bored We could use a little boredom We could use a little boredom Today Today Oh, today Yeah, today Stopping by my sister's house on the way home To go in and play with my niece Laying on the couch beside my fiance With Boy Meets World on the TV Watching Papa fall asleep in his chair And covering our ears as he snores some of the best memories I've ever made Were on days when I was bored 
Some of the best memories I've ever made Were on days when I was bored Put the phone down, just be bored Put the phone down, just be bored Put the phone down, just be bored